So hello and welcome back to part two of the muzzle flash in Blender. So I should have said this in part one, but why you might want to do this is well, if you don't own After Effects, this is a great alternative. And uh, I've been experimenting with a couple of effects, and Blender seems to be able to do most of them. And um, this is a, well, I'm currently using Far 2.58a, which is the latest release, but uh, Soon after when the summer code is done, we should have the tomato branch, which means we have ma um, <laughs> God foot tracking, which is going to be incredibly useful. Because at the moment we have to, I have to manually keyframe everything, but with tracking in, we can do 3D matchmaking, match moving, and uh, tracking of you know, you know, we could track the back of here to add the smoke in and the muzzle flash. But at the moment we have to manually do it, which is a bit of annoying. I'd just like to point that out. But anyway, that that's the future, which is a good dream, but at the moment it's not here. So, anyway, well, by the way, rotoscoping, right. So, because rotoscoping is a new add-on, it's currently not enabled. So we're going to have to enable it first. So first, go to File and User Preferences. So, in User Preferences, we're going to go to the Add-ons tab, and in here we're going to type in roto and sure enough there's rotoscope roto bezier sorry and we can close that so what we're going to do is add a circle curve circle and in the object settings we're going to call this face so we're going to separate all the bezier circles into separate objects and we'll name them so we can tell them apart so with that and you should see the roto bezier here so we're going to move this over my face. I'm going to change this to solid. I'm just going to scale it down a bit, put it over my face, and that's about right for now. Uh, we're going to put filling and white mats, and this usually annoys me. There we go. Filling. There we go. Oh, all right. That's the mistake I keep doing. That turns it off and then you can choose black but we want white so make sure you choose white and then next we're going to go to frame 1 and start rotoscoping so with rotoscoping there's different workflows first one is you start on frame 1 position the curve around the object you're rotoscoping then go to the last frame and then position it again and then gradually you go through the timeline and reposition the object. So I'm not gonna <laughs> record the whole thing of me rotoscoping, that'd be a bit boring, but I'm gonna do the first couple of frames so you get the idea. So with the circle selected, go to edit mode and we've got these handles which we can reposition the curve with. So we just go around the face here and just if you get it nice and tight you don't you'll have minimum spill into the background which I had in when I was uh, just quickly putting together the preview of what the tutorial will uh, have but I am now gonna be a bit more careful try and get a bit more of the face in maybe pull that one around a bit and pull that there and that looks pretty good so that's the first frame so we select I don't know I usually go in edit mode and insert the keyframe so go on frame run with that one and we'll insert the keyframe so now that's keyframe to the first frame I'm gonna go to frame 108 reposition it on my face and just like that we have now keyframe two frames but you can see it's offset still so then you don't have to go frame by frame but you need to find the major points of where it goes off the frame now I'm in a minute I'm gonna stop uh, rotoscope my face and then I'll be back but you're probably wondering why why we need to rotoscope though because this is a, a, a revolver it only does one round at a time and it's not a machine gun which is shooting many rounds per minute so why do we need to rotoscope uh, my the my face, my arm, and my body? Well, rotoscoping is a good practice, so it's good to practice rotoscoping in general. And also, um, 
because even though it only shoots, you know, at f this frame, and we'd only need to, you might say, oh, we only need to position it on that frame nicely, as that's where the light's going to be. Yeah, you could do that, but in my opinion, I found it easy just to rotoscope everything, and uh, yeah, I would just rotoscope everything, and it, and and even if you if you practice this and you do and say you did have a machine gun if you you have to rotoscope your face and your arms and the shirt to ensure that uh because it's going to be you know oscillating lights so um that way if you rotoscope everything the light won't position off the face and go everywhere anywhere else so yeah anyway hope that explanation makes sense just do it it's a lot easier in my opinion so anyway, I'm going to go now, rotoscope this, and I'll be back.